Hey guys, I'm joined by Curious of Mantic, who's here to take us through a short demo game of Mars Attacks. I can't wait. So here we have Greenville. Mm, small town USA, somewhere in generic USA land, ruined by the Martian invasion, and we have the foot soldiers marching through the kind of rubble and streets, looking for survivors. Fantastic. So we have our we have our little layout of terrain, and each of us have a faction. We have a side that we're taking in this, and uh, you are clearly the Martian. So who have you got there? Well, I've got I've got three Martian grunts here with my disintegration rifles. Mm -hmm. They're going to be uh, the foot soldiers of the invasion. But General Tor himself has come down. General Tor. Uh, he, he's there overseeing his troops, making sure the secret objective is going to be fulfilled. Right. I have three U.S. Marines. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Who are USA? And I have a very dashing-looking guy with a long sword and a suit of armor. That's Sir Edwin of Who. Sir Edwin of Who. Yeah, he, he's a, he's a time-traveling knight. The Martians have been abducting uh, people from all the different human civilizations throughout time. And in 1502, Edwin Ahu was hoovered up and has been put in cryostasis. But now, during the invasion, something's gone wrong. He's woken up and he's decided to take the fight back to the Martians. Oh, how fabulous is that? <laughs> I, have, I have a knight from the 1500s who's just woken up on a flying saucer yeah. and decided, hmm, I need to do something about this. Fantastic. Okay. Um, we've set up this little scenario, it's a little custom scenario. There's 10 scenarios in the book whenever you actually get the game. Uh, but we have a little custom one here that we're doing just to show you some of the basic mechanics so you can get a wee feel for the gameplay. And if you've just bought the game or you're waiting on the game, this will be a great primer for you to uh, get your first games underway. And if you haven't and you're watching this to try and see whether you like the game or not, well, stay tuned and see what you think. Okay. Let's get stuck in. I believe in this scenario, Martians go first. Yes, we're invading. You know, you're on the back foot here, so... Okay, well, if you want to kick us off, Curious. Right, well, I'm going to start off. We get to activate up to two uh, people per round, mm -hmm. uh, and then we keep on going until we've activated all our models, and then we take another turn. Okay, you'll see on the table behind our miniatures, we have these little uh, yellow tokens. They are activation tokens, so when a miniature finishes his activation, you put that token down beside him. We also have three little shield tokens, and they're hero tokens or heroic tokens that are spent by our heroes. So Edwin spends mine, and General Tor spends Curus's. Mm -hmm. Okay, mate. Right, I'm going to start off by running on this Martian. Each guy can take uh, two actions per turn, essentially. So mm -hmm. my first action is to move from off the board onto this square. You may not be able to see it on the camera, but we've gridded up. Uh, the board is gridded up into squares, mm -hmm. uh, and moving into one square costs one action. I can go anywhere in the square. My second one is he's going to run over here and duck into cover behind this ruined building. Now, cover is important in this because cover actually does matter. Mm. So whenever you go into a square, if there is a piece of uh, something for you to hide behind, hide behind it because line of sight is actually true line of sight. So what that means is you get down from the miniature's eye perspective, and you look and see if that miniature could see the other miniature. Hmm. Which makes it, I think this is why it's a miniatures tabletop game rather than a board game. In a board game, it's abstracted away, but here, the exact positioning of the miniatures is still important, and it's quite fun actually just trying to duck behind the signs or duck into the cover, I like that. Awesome, so that's so, your first guy. Yep, he's having his activation token put there, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to run up with number two, he can't quite get into quite as good a position, so he's going to go one, two. Now, my Martians, uh, their disintegration rays aren't as long-ranged as your US Marine carbines, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm going to just sort of like focus on pushing forward here and make sure I'm getting you into short range before you pick me off from a distance. Okay. Well, I'm going to kick off with uh, my mate Edwin. Um, Edwin has run onto the battlefield. He's gone mad after spending three, four hundred years in stasis. And he's, that's his first action is onto there. Mm -hmm. And his second action just takes him running straight forward to there. And then that's him done. Can I shoot him next turn? One, two, three. No, he's five squares away. My Martian's going to shoot one, two, three, four squares. You're five, so. 
Yeah. Hey. It's your tactics. There. Okay. Over. To, oh, I have one more that I, I can do. So mm -hmm. I'm going to activate the first of my Marines, and I'm going to make them act like Marines. So he's going to come on there, and then he's going to go and tuck himself into cover in there Ooh. like that. Okay. Right. So you've activated your two models there. Mm -hmm. uh, now it goes back to me. So I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. See, so Edwin's going to be attacking over here. So I'm going to just send one more Martian into the same square as his friend. Poke him behind so that they can hopefully gang up on Edwin when he gets close and use their, you know, brotherhood to their advantage. Yes, and I'm sure Edwin's going to love that. Okay. Meanwhile, General Tor. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to send him over here. He's going to go one, two, and hopefully get just enough behind those boxes that he can't get picked off by those horrible little guns. Right. Okay. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Okay, so uh, another US Marine is coming on, and he's going to go... Oh, you're in range there. You see, I've run so far forward, you can just start picking me yeah, off. Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's my hope, really. <laughs> so he's going to come on here and go to there. That's two squares. If you do that, you can't shoot as well. Oh, would they even be in range from here? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Six. Yep. six. It is kind of yep. diagonally yep. as well. Kind of yeah. Diagonally. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's get in. Let's get into this thing early. So <laughs> he's going on one square, and then he gets his range is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. To there. So you've caught me in the sweet spot. I'm mm -hmm. between four and six squares away. That's beautiful for you. Now uh, all the kind of rolling is based on the principle of you start with three dice. Okay. And then you get bonuses that can add to the dice, and you get negatives that can take away from the dice, correct? Um, I think there's only positives in this, actually. Of course, it's Mars Attacks. There would have to be only positives. Yeah. Okay, so you get three dice, and then you add bonuses. In this instance, I don't have any bonuses to add, because you'd get a bonus if you were aiming, and you would get a bonus if I could see him clearly and he wasn't in cover. <laughs> like so. Um, so I get to roll my three dice. I'm looking for my stats uh, over here, and my shoot stat. So a US trooper with carbine there is a five plus. Yep. So US I'm Marines are pretty good at uh, uh, combat, close range combat, but their shooting isn't quite as good mm -hmm. as my uh, Martian grunts here. Okay, so I've scored three successes. However, one of those successes is an eight. So I have a six, seven, and an eight. That means eights are exploding in this game, which means that if you score an eight, like you get to roll an additional one because your successes are getting better and better. I like this. It adds a nice element of sort of uh, chance and randomness to the game. It's not always about certainty. It creates moments of heroics that you wouldn't expect, yeah. which I think is awesome. I got a four that time, which unfortunately doesn't count, so I got okay. three successes. My Martian here gets three uh, attempts to, uh, sorry, three dice mm -hmm. against his survive stat. Uh, my survive stat of my um, grunt is six plus, mm -hmm. so I need sixes here. One. So I got one, you got three. Yeah. Now, luckily, I've got state-of-the-art science fiction armor here. Mm -hmm. Your Marines, you know, they got just regular modern-day armor, but these guys, you know, don't let their kind of like glass helmets fool you. They've yep. got armor on, so I can ignore the first point of damage you do to me. Okay, so you cancelled out one yep. with a success. Yep. You cancel out another one oh! with the armor. Uh, uh, but there's one more left. Yeah, so that kills my that kills my grunt there. There he goes. Head blown out of the sky. First blood to me. Okay, so that's him done. Um, if I'd been General Tor with his heavy armor, he'd been laughing, but never mind. Now, I could do the same again, but I am concerned that if I, if I stand back and, and shoot, I'm not actually getting anything forward. I want to try and keep my, my troops within reasonable proximity of each other because troops that are in the same square actually add supporting roles to other troops and things. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to spread them out too much either. Okay, so my next Marine is going to come on and he's going to run up behind Sir Edwin. And that is his move complete. Great. 
Okay, so we'll uh, take off our activation counters now, because mm -hmm. it's the end of the round. Okay. And then because I finished activating before you did, um, I get the first turn now. Okay. So, how will I uh, uh, deal with this here? Oh, I'm sorry that I forgot a mechanic, but it's okay. Um, what happens here is I've got, this is a disadvantage of having your troops clumped together, uh -huh. is that he's got gunned down and the friend next to him is, may not stick around too much, you know? He might go and duck for cover, so I've got to roll a dice here. Uh huh. And on a five, six, seven, or eight, I'm okay. On a one, two, three, or four, I'm going to just hit the ground and he's going to get rattled. Yeah. Seeing brains splattered all down the inside. So oh, of the helmet, yeah. yeah. Eight. He's okay. He's okay. He marches through. Mm hmm So is that, does that happen at the moment that uh, this guy's killed? Yep, anything. The moment he's removed, is that, and what's that rule called? Is that a morale check? Uh, that's rattled, and rattled. Uh, that means if I failed that, if I was one, two, three, or four, that guy would hit the deck, I'd put him down on the floor. And you'd bit... have to spend an action to get him up again. Yep. It also means that if you then decided to fight him in combat, I couldn't fight back. I could only use my survive stat, mm -hmm. which makes it sort of a, a easier to um, kill me eventually. Okay. Okay, over to you then. Right. See, advantages and disadvantages of clumping together. There I was. I thought I was being so clever. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm going to see if I can get some revenge for that. I'm going to start off by moving my guy here and then squint down. Ah. My Martian here can see the head of your Marine poking out over there. And mm -hmm. in Mars Attacks, you can see a gun barrel. If you can see a corner of the base, uh, you count as being in line of sight. So if you can see any part of the model, yep. you, your kind has been able to, to, to have a shot. It's great. It's just a really clear cut rule. Can you mm -hmm. see a bit of the model? Yes, you can shoot it. Okay. So I'm going to have uh, three dice here, mm -hmm. and my shoot stat is better than yours, it's a four plus. Okay. So I need four pluses here. One. All right. I defend that mm -hmm. with uh, three dice. Yep. Do I get any bonuses or anything uh, for cover? No, or? the bonus uh, for being in cover was me not getting one dice. Ah, okay. So, right. So, and I need... Sixes. Sixes. <gasps> no sixes. So I got one success, you got none. If, mm -hmm. if that had been my armoured uh, US, uh, sorry, my armoured Martian grunt there, I'd have been fine with my armour, but... With my US guy. Yeah, it's no match for my disintegration rifle. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so that's him out of the way, and I'll remove the token for him. One all. Okay. You don't get any people who are in the same square there. Rattles, that's, that's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So he gets a token applied yep. to him, and then you have another guy that you can... Yes. Move. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move uh, General Tor 1, mm -hmm. 2, yep. 3. Okay. Then I can do this because I've got my three heroics tokens here. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I can do with these is uh, I can spend them one a turn to get an extra action. And he's going to spend that to get uh, that third action you just saw me do so that there. third move that he was yep. able to make. So I spent one point of heroics there. Mm -hmm. Right. If he had a ranged weapon, he could do an extra shot or uh, he could fight someone else. But mm -hmm. uh, Now, it's worth saying at this stage, the win conditions for this particular game is we've, we've just, we agreed that um, whoever can kill all of the, the, the kind of the, the lower grunts, um, if you kill their, your opponent's grunts, you've won. Or if you kill your opponent's hero, you've won. Um, so he gave me quite a tasty target there. Yeah. So I think I, I think I don't know whether it's bait, but I think I might go for it actually. Um, I'm going to activate Sir Edwin. Uh huh. Oh, I'll just put my activation counter okay. next to Tor there. And um, I believe he can go one. Yep. Two. Yep. And no, you can't reach me. <gasps> but he can spend <gasps> a hero point. Oh, to you jump fiend. in there like this. You fiend. Okay. And uh, by entering the square of another character or another model, you automatically go into combat. Yeah. So, uh, Sir Edwin gets to strike. It's his yep. combat. Yep. So we're taking a look at his fight stat of three plus here. So three pluses. Yep. Which is very very meaty. So if you're two pages looking over. for it, it's on uh, page twenty seven. So here we have Sir Edwin's uh, fight stats here. Um, so he's fighting on a three plus. Now he gets three as standard. Yep. Plus one because he charged in. So, yep. Um, so I need some threes here. 
So three, th three successes. Okay, I'm going to take some uh, dice here. Mm -hmm. See if I can get on General Tor's survive stat, which I believe is <gasps> five plus. Mm -hmm. Or I could fight back on threes. I've got a choice here. I can fight or survive. Yeah. Uh, we don't get to do this with shooting. You only get to do this with combat. Mm -hmm. And some characters have a higher fight stat than they do survive stat. Other characters have a higher survive stat than a fight stat. So mm -hmm. you've got a choice. But if you're rattled, like that man could have been last turn, yeah. he only gets the choice of surviving. Mm -hmm. But here I'm going to use my... Your fight, fight. so clearly that's a, the, the obvious one because it, it's threes is a better stat than the fights. Yep. Okay. It's a bit like in Dreadball, you've got the choice of between slamming back or dodging, mm -hmm. and it's always context dependent. Yeah. So okay. Threes. <laughs> well, I've got three there. You only got uh, three anyway, so I'm not yeah. going to explode up these eights here. I've got two eights. Two eights. <gasps> so there we go. We're okay. So it just bounces off each yep. other. Hmm. Now, okay. you do have an event, uh, a special rule here called Smite, mm -hmm. which means, uh, well, it essentially it's cancelled out by, I've also got Smite, so we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll bypass that for now. Okay, okay. Right, that is Sir Edwin's move. Now. Look at those Martian power swords going at each other. Ch -ch -ch. Mm. If you strike me down, I should become more powerful than ever. Now, I've got, I have a threat here that I've built for myself, and my threat is this guy here, because he's very close to this combat, and if he comes into this combat, he'll get a bonus from our general here. So I'm going to have to try and deal with him, and I'm going to try and deal with him with this guy, mm -hmm. because he's one, two, three, four away. Um, so he's going to aim and shoot. Okay. Okay. That aim so gives you plus one dice He gets there. three normally. He gets a plus one because he aims. The aim being the first action. And he needs fives, I believe, for his shooting. Yes, yeah. fives for shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, of which he only gets one. <gasps> oh, what a terrible roll! Now, my armor will save me here, but yeah. I need my survives of six plus. Oh, only just. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, that is me done. Now, another nice touch of this game uh, is that, uh, yeah, you got one success. And if I'd rolled zero, I'd have had my one point of armor mm -hmm. there, because Martians have a rule called armor, which yeah. would have saved me. It counts as like one automatic success. But if that armor does save me and makes a difference between life and death, mm -hmm. I become rattled instead. So I'd right. put the model down, and then he's a bit easier to pick on next turn. I know, when to... he's rattled, again, it takes an action just to get him back up from the rattle. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Okay, um, I think it's over to you. Yep, so I've only got uh, uh, my friend here on the left flank, so I've got the choice. Do I go and help? I think I'll take a couple of turns. So, mm -mm -mm. he's going to move one to here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to quickly, sneakily count the range. One, two, three, four. Oh. Can he see this chap over here? Yes, he can. So there he is, taking up uh, his position mm -hmm. behind the barricade. Yeah. So kind of like a door here. We, mm -hmm. uh, we've actually, we t when we did the Kickstarter campaign, we actually took a bit of time drawing messages on the door and doing a bit of graffiti on the front of the door. <laughs> it changed from shot to shot, which was quite good fun. Yeah. Tried to put a couple of like zombie lyrics in there or, you know, kind of like Mars attacks lyrics, you know. Uh, that were good. But okay, so uh, I'm within four. I can't shoot the guy at the back, but no. I can shoot him. Yeah, this is going to be painful. So I get three shots. Yeah. I don't have a clear shot on him. So it's just three, mm -hmm. and my shooting is four plus. Right. Slightly better at this than you, even mm -hmm. though I've got a smaller range. Okay. Ooh. Okay. One, One success. success. Okay. You need... So um, I need uh, my survive is... Um, six. Six. So I need sixes. Okay. One six will save you. Ah, oh, yeah, you're yes. saved there. Got it. Okay. Right, that's an activation token for this guy. Mm -hmm. Which leaves me my final guy, mm -hmm. um, who I am still in the same predicament that I have been in. However, he has a clear line of shot. Ah, sadly, you can't shoot at uh, Oh, because squares. there's a combat. Yeah, yes, you, can't you can't shoot, shoot at squares containing a, a mixer models. Mm -hmm. Right. What do we do here? Well, you've got uh, choices here. We're, we're fairly even footing. We've killed one of our yeah. grunts each. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot at a grunt. Okay. Okay. Um, Not this guy. Well, you could do that guy, but I, I'm glad I put him in the uh, cover now. Yeah. I'm going to. Now, whenever he moves, even if he moves within his own square, does it count as an action? Yep, repositioning yeah. yourself within the square. Mm -hmm. Although in this game there is no facing, so it doesn't matter if yeah. I'm stood behind you. You can just... Uh... Um, I think... And it, it only matters if there's terrain in the square. You, you don't have to be up against the terrain or whatever. You get cover if there's terrain in the square, or do you have to be up against the terrain? You don't have to be up against the terrain or anything. Mm. It's just uh, we do it from a model-to-model -model basis. Yeah. Working out if I can see all of the model or some of the model mm -hmm. or none. Okay. Three entirely nice binary steps. Three? Can you have three of a binary? I'm not. Uh, well, <laughs> zero one zero. I think it is. <laughs> so uh, uh, three discrete. I am phases. left <laughs> with very little options here. Um, I could aim and shoot at this guy uh -huh. and get the extra dice. Yep. Um, or I could position and shoot at this guy, mm -hmm. um, but would that count as cover for him, even though it's in a different square? Yeah, if you can't see the whole model, then... Yeah. Uh... Then I'm going to aim and shoot at this guy okay. here. Okay. So I get my three dice normally, and I'm going to get a, a bonus for my aim, okay? And again, I need fives. Uh -huh. So what have I got? Would you believe it? One success. One six. So even if he fails at this, the best I can do is rattle him. So let's see if I can get my six pluses here. Oh, yeah, so I got one eight one exploding there. Exploding eight. Doesn't matter yep. if it's exploded, so I'm fine. So he stands there and that's the end of the turn. Now there's the classic risk of me sit, standing back, trying to put, lay down some fire, but all I've really done is left myself with hmm, not very good position for the next turn. Okay, we take right. our we take our tokens back for activation. And uh, I was last to activate, which now means that you're first to activate. Yes, so I've got a choice here. Do I go and uh, do some dramatic dueling against Edwin of Who, or do I go and kind of like pick on that soldier there who's in the open? Take mm -hmm. advantage of your tactical error there. Ooh. 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 I think I'm going to start off by uh, uh, having this man here fight. So this is my action. I'm just going to turn him around dramatically. Yep. There we go. So mm -hmm. I'm going to fight. I don't get to charge him, which is a shame. So I only get three dice. Yep. And I'm on my fight stat of three. Mm -hmm. Oh, just one. Abysmal. Okay. I'm also on a fight stat of three. Uh -huh. And I get three dice. And I get two, oh, one you... of which is exploding. Three, again, exploding. Three. You laugh off my attack. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to leave that there then. And then I'm going to go and get my second... Oh, activation counter there for general tour. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Oh, oh, I don't even have to... Oh, this, this is going to be a turkey shoot. I don't even have to move this guy to get him into a position to shoot yeah, all of that guy. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you see? You have not used your rain advantage. You could have been firing and moving back. And... It could have, yep. So I'm going to get three dice. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to choose a fourth dice for aiming. Yep. And a fifth dice, just being able to see all of you. And you only need threes. Oh, no, my uh, Martians need fours. Oh, fours, okay. Yep. Oh, just two, a five and a six. Just two, okay. Just two. So I get, my, I get three to uh -huh. um, defend that. And... Um, I need sixes for my survive, mm -hmm. so let's see. Um, one. One. So oh. one versus two. There we go. I'm dead. There again. he goes. Okay, that's him done. Uh-huh. Over to me. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to move Sir Edwin one, two into here. Can he run out of a combat? Uh, no, sorry. Um, no. I, I was too busy reading the book there. So my Sir Edwin is locked in a combat. Mm -hmm. 
So he can't actually move out of there, which is a pity. Yep. Because I could have done something there. Um, and this guy here, there's not an awful lot that he can bring to play on, on what we're seeing at the moment. Because I get to do two, and I only have two, I'm going to start with this guy. You can okay. always just activate just the one person. I could, but I, I, and you would. The reason you might want to do that is if you're maybe trying to influence the turn, the turn sequences. You might be able to to play around with that a little bit. But I, I'm going to I'm going to do both. I'm going to do him an aim and shoot. Okay. At this guy here okay. again. Okay. Um. So I'll get the fourth dice. Okay. And I need my fives. I need some exploding five eights here. The nice thing is, nothing is always impossible. Oh, oh, one. So pointless again. Oh, let's see. This could this could potentially rattle my marsh in there. A rattle would be handy right now. So I need six pluses. Oh, I'm yes, just and rolling well one, today. So, okay, so that's Shan't him done. It. Next thing, over to Edwin, and he's just going to to start swinging away. So. He needs threes. Let's see if he can do some damage. Two, two okay. damage. I'm going to fight back here because mm -hmm. my fight's higher than my survive. Three. Yep. There so we go. So it just bounces off. And that is the end of my turn. And it's back over to you guys. There we this go. This guy here. Yeah. Fighting always ends a model's activation. So he can't do two fights mm -hmm. in a turn. He can only do one, which is. Right, so he can't... Do a second fight, but you yeah. could always spend a point of your heroics, of course, to get mm -hmm. a second fight. Oh, could I? Could Sir Edwin do that as well? He could, yes. Ah, so I could actually spend one of my heroic points. I'm going to do that now, actually. Okay. I'm going to spend to fight again. Yep, heroes can always spend... Uh, well, once per turn, they can spend yeah. a heroic point to uh, take an extra move, an extra shoot, mm -hmm. or an extra fight, which well, is Well, let's useful. do that. So he's going he's gonna to fight again. Okay. Uh, this time, two. Oh, three. Plus three. exploding. So, and I've just wasted a heroic point. <sighs> oh. Okay. Right. All right, so I've only got my one marsh in here. I, I find this activation counter is very useful, actually. You yeah. Know? Especially when you have sort of turns which are so fluid. Right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to do some canny outnumbering here. He's going to go one to here, leaving the cover momentarily. Yep. And then two to enter this square mm -hmm. to fight Sir Edwin. Yep. Now, although he's not amazing at this, this will come in useful next turn. But let's see if it works. Let's see if, if my Martian here can do what the general of this army cannot. Mm -hmm. So I get three dice normally. Yep. I get a fourth dice for charging in. Yep. And a fifth dice. Because there's somebody already in the yes. square. Mm -hmm. So if you had someone in there, you'd also get the uh, having a friend in the square bonus. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't have negatives, you just both get positives. Okay. Which is quite a nice... It's always very simple to remember in Mars Attacks, you always positive modifiers. Yeah. Things like this. So! Uh, I need fives. Okay. Mm, my Martians aren't quite as good close-up as your Marines are. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, your, your troopers are. Oh, just one success there, one six. Just one success. And uh, Sir Edwin has to roll a defense on that. And it'll be his fight stat again. Yep. So he needs three. Yep. Yes, no problem. Three successes. There we so. go. Okay, so that's my activation done. Mm -hmm. Now, in this instance, you activated oh. the last. Yep. Therefore, I get to activate first. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, we've got a special rule here which we've previously been ignoring. And what's that? This is, this is Smite. This is a special ability that both uh, General Tor and Edwin have, uh -huh. which means uh, if you win a combat, yeah. uh, sorry, but if you um, uh, fight someone in combat but don't kill them, uh -huh. they become rattled. And so you've got a choice now. You can sort of fight this command, uh -huh. and uh, if you don't, it's easier to kill, but if you don't kill him, you get to use your special rule, yep. or you get to uh, fight General Tor as normal. Okay. I'm going to fight the little guy first okay. to try okay. and kill him. Um, so I get three. Um, oh, this, this might have been a bad move for me. <laughs> so, right, okay. And I get uh, two successes. Right, I get three, but I get plus one mm -hmm. for having a friend. <laughs> now I'm going to got a choice here between fight and survive. My survive is six, my fight is five. So I'm going to use my fight here. Yep. 
won two successes. Versus... There we go. Yeah, two successes, so, two all. There we so go. So it just bounced Phew. off each other. Phew. That's good, though, because if, if you did that and then you'd just be able to send this Marine, uh, this trooper forward to kill him, you'd have won the game there, so... I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to, however... Oh! Pay my heroic token and oh, have, oh, you're going for it. And have another go and see if I can, if okay. I can do it. Okay. okay. Oh. One. Two. Two. Okay. My armor here is very good against shooting. It's no help in combat. Yeah. So. One. And but it's, it's an exploding an ex eight. It's an exploding eight. Five plus. Ooh, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. I've lost my outnumbering bonus there before General Tor got to use it. Okay, so he's dead. Uh huh. Now I get my second activation. Now, how many heroic points have you spent now? I've spent them all. <laughs> I've spent them all. So oh. uh, that goes back on him. Oh, sorry, yes. Okay. This guy. Gets to move. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then he's. Um, is he considered out in the open? He would be considered out in the open. If I can draw a line, of, well, it depends. I've got to get sort of to here, or yeah, got to get to here or here, and it's unlikely for this guy. So, let's hmm. see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So he would be in range to be shot. In the next turn. If I moved, yeah. But do I take a chance? I'm going to have to take the chance, okay? Oh, are you going he's for it? He's coming out. He's going for it. You're risking it. Yeah. Can you see all of my man? Ooh, if he goes right to the very edge. As long as he keeps the majority of his base in one square, that's fine. That's fine. No, he can't. He can't see oh, all of the base, yes. unfortunately. Part of the base is still obscured by, by this. So he's not getting that extra bonus. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm on fives. Okay. I really need to roll some eights here if I can. So, oh, Ooh, two. two successes. I need a really bad roll from you. <laughs> roll them one at a time for the sake of drama. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, oh, nothing. Increasing drama. Come on, <laughs> sixes. Oh, <laughs> nothing. Increasing drama. <laughs> This could be the last dice roll of the game. Oh, oh nothing! Ah. <laughs> you were... Um, oh, oh, you, you, could be, you could have been in trouble there, you see. I thought I was in trouble there. If, if, if I'd have... If I'd, uh, I've got two heroic points left, and I, I'd, I'd, I'd had two goes at your Edwin, and now he's got no hero points left, he's yeah. quite an easy target, so... Oh. Well there you done. have it, guys. What a cracking little game. Yeah. Curious, thank you so much for taking me through the, the very basics of You're it. You're welcome. It, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And it's fun derives from the, the, the amazing miniatures, the amazing little backstories. How many games do you get a, a knight that has been in suspended animation for 300 odd years who's coming back to life? It's a bit loopy. And is just looking for love and revenge. <laughs> <laughs> and on Mars Attacks, he finds it. There's a whole host of other things that you can apply to this game uh, mm. to ramp up the fun factor. There's other rules, there's other special abilities, and most importantly, there's these cards. Yeah. Do you want to give us just a brief overview of what the cards add to the game? Yes, well, here we go. I like these cards. One of my favorite components, actually. So um, we've got several types of cards in here. We've got very straightforward. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Doop -a -doo. Let's find one. Got very suitable. Oh. Cards like this. I love this card. Where's, mm -hmm. where's our sweet spot? Okay, so here we have uh, a card here. So, so there we go. We have a Skateboarding Martian, uh -huh. which is, is brilliant. It's Alien Cunning or Hit the Deck. These are cards which are essentially sort of bonus cards, which mean if I play it from my hand, I get plus one to a dice. Yes. Or I get to do a bonus move that you don't expect. So yeah. that's very straightforward. It just sort of like you kind of like you're managing them thinking, right, it's, in your last turn there where your marine ran out, you might have thought, ooh, I'm going to play a card here to get plus mm -hmm. one to the shooting. So there's a whole other layer of uh, 
kind of chaotic elements and things like that to add to the, the cinematics of the game yeah. then. Yeah. You're sort of like thinking, right, when do I sort of like push my advantage? When do I play my cards? Mm -hmm. That's quite good. So that's the first type of card we have. The second type of card is sort of like um, we have support cards as well. Yeah. Uh, where uh, both sides get this, where either the US have got together an artillery strike and they're sort of like shelling the battlefield mm -hmm. from behind or the Martians send over saucers. And um, you can sort of like lay down supporting like off-board attacks. Yeah. But it, it's, a, it's a subtle meta game there. Do you think, right, do I play these cards as soon as I get them? Or do I uh, collect them and do an even more devastating attack later? You know, yeah. two cards, is that better than I have one card twice? Or do I hold out for that third card and just kind of try and blow you apart? You know, so that's a sort of, you know, kind of like a tense game within the game. We're playing poker, you know. Love and it. my favorite type of card, here we go is uh, these are event cards that kind of got purple sides on. Yeah. Like rubble, where suddenly I get to play this and, oh, you think your man was in cover? No, he's not. It's collapsed. I get to take pieces off. Or I get to do something very weird like, this is the moo card, where uh, suddenly... Burning cows. <laughs> the herd of flaming cows invades the battlefield, runs on and just tramples anyone in their way. And starts setting stuff on yeah, fire. Yeah, that, that's a sort of, that's a sort of uh, very random element. It's kind of got a lot of humour. It can suddenly yeah. swing the balance of a game at a key moment. Uh, and it, it just keeps itself sort of very fun and alive and uh, kind of like quite uh, chaotic, which is, makes a very good uh, beer and pretzels type of Fantastic. game. Fantastic. Well, look, guys, if you've enjoyed that, let us know. We'll be definitely getting curious back and we'll, we'll maybe... We'll maybe set up a couple of bigger games that are more involved and yeah, start to play out a few more battle reports of Mars Attacks. We've only got one hero there used. You've got a whole suite of nine to choose from in this box game alone, which, yeah. And yeah. one of the great things about this is whenever I heard about the, 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 the they'd written in um, historical characters that have been uh, abducted in the past, I started to think about, you could have a Roman in there, or a Spartan, or something. You could you could even make up some of your own characters to start bringing into the game and doing all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Mm. Anyway, Curse, thank you once oh, again, thank you mate. For having me that was fabulous. Really enjoyed it. I chalk up another win to me. It was exploding eights. I didn't get so many of them this time, but you know, I did all right. Thanks for <laughs> watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon.